Hello everyone, in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to do some basic functions in SCID. SCID stands for Chain's Chess Information Database. It's a great program. I'll actually be using the SCID vs PC option and I'll include a link below the video to download that if you haven't already. This is a really great program that is a free alternative to the chess based products which are absolutely great products if you have the money and you want to get those I encourage you to do so but if you're interested in a free option this is really the one that I recommend to all my students and all my friends it's not as polished in some sense as the chess based products but all the features are there and you can really do everything you would want to in terms of analyzing your game and importing databases and managing your games etc so in this particular tutorial what I want to show you how to do is just to create a database and to add your own games so that you can manage your games I think that a really important step for aspiring chess players is just getting the games off of the score sheet and into a computer and then we can start to look at them and learn from them and we'll see how to do that in some of the later tutorials but the first step is just getting them into a database. So what we're going to do here is we're going to start by creating a database. So we'll go over to file and we'll create a new database for our games. So I'm just going to save mine here in my desktop. Probably you have another folder in which you'd like to save yours. And I'm just going to name it my games. Okay, so having created that, let's take a quick look at the desktop and we'll see that what's created is three files. So the database isn't just one file, there's actually three files here that are all named My Games. If you want to copy your database to another folder, you'll want to copy all three of those files. So some of these files have the actual moves from your games that you're going to be storing, and some of these files have indexing information which helps you to navigate the games more quickly. But you need to keep all three files together in the same folder so SCID knows how to work with them. So if we come back over to SCID, if we look here at these buttons, you'll see that you can access some of your most, uh, most commonly used options. So here what I want is the one on the far left, which we'll see pops up as the game list. And I'll click that and SCID has docked windows so I'm going to drag this over and you'll see a tab in this section here and so we see at bottom in this tab that we now show our database my games I could have other databases open and they would also show up here at bottom and by default I have a clip base where I can keep games that I'm kind of working on and I want to move between databases or things like that but we have here this my games database right now you'll see that it shows up as being empty so there's no games in this database so what we want to do now is we want to import some of our games into the database so I've created a folder on my desktop again that has some of my games in the PGN format many of you probably already have some of your games in the PGN format perhaps if you're using a Monroy or some application on your phone or something like that you've already got some games in PGN and you can easily import those into your new database by going to tools import PGN file and so here I have the strategy games PGN file on my desktop and so I'll just double click that and it takes a moment to import those and you'll see that now I have 11,000 games from this particular PGN file showing up in my games Okay, and I can just click those and you'll see that they pop up over here and you'll see that all the information is here and I can navigate through that play through my game okay so that works really great if you already have some of your games in uh, PGN files if you want to bring in individual PGN text instead of the full file one thing you can do is to import that text directly so for instance over here I have a game in my blog and I want to import that into this uh, my games database that we've created 
So we can see the games all over here. The PGN information is in the database. And if I click down here, you'll see that I get an option to get the PGN string. And here it all pops up, and I can just hit Control A in there and copy it. And now I can go back over to Skid, and I can go to Tools, Import PGN Text, and I'll see that that pops up here already. If I've actually copied it, it'll just uh, automatically show up in here as soon as I open this. And we see that I've got all of this PGN information, and I can click Import. Okay, and now I need to add that game to save that game basically and you'll see that I can click save uh, and assert that all this information is correct that it automatically brought in for me and now the last game in that database that I have here is this game that I just imported from that text that we had there. So it's very very easy to get your games into SCID either if you have information in a PGN file or if you have it in PGN text. Now finally let's say that you don't have any of your information in a digital form already and you just want to add it. So you say you've played a tournament and you've got your games on a score sheet and you want to bring them into Skid. It's very easy to do so. You would just go to game and you would create a new game. You get a blank board here with no information and you can start inputting your moves. So let's say that we played a classic trap here, E4, e5, knight of 3, knight of 6, knight take e5, knight take e4, a classic mistake, and white plays queen e2. After the knight retreats from the queen, white wins black's queen here with this discovered check on the king. So let's say that you're lucky enough that your opponent fell into this trap. You've input the game here, you want to save it now, and so you would go again to this game, add game option. And here we could put in all our information. We could put in our name, our opponent's name, ratings, the event, the site, the date, etc. For now, I'm not going to worry about that. And I'll just click Save. And we'll see that we have a new game here that doesn't have any game information associated, but we've successfully added it to the database. If I wanted to go back and later add that information or edit it, I could go to Game, Set Game Information to modify that. So that's really all you need to know in terms of getting your games into SCID. It's very easy to do so. You just want to create a database in the SCID format, store that somewhere. You're going to get three files out of that. Then you can import PGN files if you've already got PGN file information that you want to add. You can add text directly if you've got some uh, PGN text, which a lot of programs like chess.com and uh, a lot of programs on your phone will give you very easily. They allow you to email it to yourself in some cases. And you can just copy it right from things like email into a skid. Or finally, you can add that directly. You can create a new game. Uh, you can input your moves and be sure to save that afterwards. And you're good to go. All your games are in. And then you're ready to start analyzing those games, which is what we'll be talking about next.